Hello dear graders, how are you? I hope everything is fine with you. If you're watching this video, probably you talked with me before in the classroom and I told to you today as a part of the class will be a synchronous class. Why, mister? Because you know we are in the weeks for our uh, parent teaching student conference. I have to have more meetings with some parents and today we are supposed to work by yourself. But before this, I have the video here to help you, to guide you through all your work, okay? You have, I think, one hour to work by yourself with these activities here. Great. Let's go ahead and explain to you. What are the steps to factorize trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c? Is the first question for our learning goal. The second one. What are the steps to factorize polynomials with four terms? Four terms, mister. Yes, we see. So easy, guys. So easy. Let's go ahead here. Guys, a little bit warm up. I think everybody remember how to factorize this one. Here is my B. Here is my C. I need to figure out two numbers that... I multiply, I got a 45. If I add, I got a 14. The numbers, guys, is of two positive numbers is five and four. Oh, mister, so easy. You are quick on that. Yes. <laughs> x plus four times x plus five. If I multiply four, oh, sorry, not x is four, sorry. It's nine and five, nine and five, my bad. Nine and five, guys. Nine times five, 45. 9 plus 5, 14. So easy, guys. And number 3, mister. Number 3, I have 2 here. I need to find the GCF first. Notice, check for GCF first. Do I have a GCF here, number 3? Yes, I have a GCF. What is the GCF, mister? It's number 2. Always is the, the quadratic coefficient. The quadratic coefficient in this case here, it is 2. And uh, here it is 2. 2 parentheses a square and divide by 2 here is just a divide by 2 here it is 12 negative 12 nice I need to find my B is 1 and I have nothing is 1 and my C here is negative 12 which number times another number it is negative 12 the multiplication and the other one is a these numbers here, guys, it is 4 and negative 3. 4 and negative 3. Oh, mister. So easy. Here's the factor 2. Don't forget the, the 2 here, the GCF. A plus 4 times A minus 3. Let's check. 4 minus 3 is 1. Nice. I have 1 here. 4 times negative 3, negative 12. Done. That's it, guys. Our warm up. For, don't forget it is uh, probably I did this one in the classroom too with you and here is the classroom factoring trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c attention over here guys I will explain this with for you pay attention about and understand this point if you have any question remember to ask me okay mister I need your help I am here to help you guys the steps, when A cannot be factored out by GCF, as you can see here, it cannot factor by GCF. We can possibly still factor the trinomial. Mm, okay, let's see how. The steps below show a method called slip and slide to factor the trinomials. Slip, what do you need? Step one, you slip A, A, A is the number, the quadratic coefficient, okay? To the end of the trinomial and multiply by c okay you will slip this number to the end of the trinomial and multiply by c and you need to factor this new basic trinomial remember to factor this new basic trinomial how do we factor as usual as you know and divide both your factors by the value you slip over in step one Reduce the fractions and slide any denominators up next to the variable distribute to check. Okay, mister, it's a kind of weird. Let me understand here. The first one, you slip a to the end and multiply. Okay, let's do it first. 
Just re slip up to the end and multiply two times three, six. Then don't have two anymore in the beginning. It is x squared plus five x plus six. Okay, the first thing. Let's right now find the factors over here. My b is five, my c is six. Which number times another number, it is six, and the same numbers I add, I got a five. Two and three, oh, so easy, it's two and three. Okay, mister, it is x plus three and x plus two. Oh, so nice, so easy. And step number three, divide both of your factors by the value it was slipped over in step number one. Okay, I need to divide both of my factors by the number I slipped up. Then I divide by two. Let's divide by two here. Divide by two here. Okay, I need to divide by two. I will change the color, guys, just for you understand we're in another step. Uh, here, uh, green. Okay, green is better. Two and two. Great. Right now, reduce the fractions and slide any denominators up next to the variable. Distribute to check. Oh, nice. Let's divide here. Oh, I can divide two by two is one. Here, I got a one. Oh, this one, three and two, I cannot divide. What I need to do is light up this number here next to the variable. Okay, mister, you're talking about that. It is two X plus three. And here it is X plus one. Oh, just hit me, sir. Let's check then. 2 times x, 2x squared. I'm checking, okay, guys? Don't forget to check. 2x squared. And the next one, 2x times 1 is 2x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1, it is 3. Combine like terms, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Did I return to the original number? Yes, I did. So cool! Yeah, so easy, guys. So easy. Guys, remember to solve here example number two. I give, I leave you time to work on this in the classroom. And here, example number three and number four is so easy. And this is time for your work. Guys, sometimes I need to look for GCF. Oh, miss, we have GCF before solve this. Yes, we have sometimes. Also, just one for you to understand this stuff here. The GCF, guys... 2 and 5 here for the 10. 75, guys. I think if you notice, probably is 5 and something. 5 and 75, if I divide this, will be 15. Yes, 15. And 35, it is 5 and 6. Okay, the common factor, if you... 5 and 6, no, 5 and 7. Sorry. The common factor here, if you notice, it is 5. Just five, it means, yeah, just five. If I have a variable, guys, probably have a variable extra over here. But right now it's just five. And let's write here the common factor outside, five, and parentheses for everything what is left. What I left here, 2k squared plus 15k plus seven. Okay, mister, now I got it. Oh, miss, I still have a, a number, A, over here. Then follow the technique I learned. I will learn a little, a little bit later. later. Two, slide up, slip to the end. Two times seven, 14. Okay, here it is. I just write here, guys, after, oh no, just right here. Five K square plus 15 K plus two times seven, 14. Right now, I need a number. My B is 15. Let me write here. My B is 15. And my C is 14. Let's right now think about number two. A number times another number. The addition, it is 15. And the multiplication, it is 14. Which number? The product is 14. And the sum is 15. Which is the number, Mr. 2 times 7? Two times seven works, no, but uh, not the number I'm looking for. for. 14 and one, oh, Mr. 14 and one, yes, 14 and one. Here's the factors. It's for K, the variable is K. K plus 14 times 
times k plus 1. So easy. And don't forget it. You need to divide it by the number you move, you, sl you slip up. The number I slip up first was 2. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. Nice. Right now, let's write the number here. Let's divide if it's possible. If it's not possible, you just slip up, slide up the number. 14 and 2 is 7. And 1 and 2, I cannot. I slip up. I slide up the number here to 2. Okay. Then, let's write our, our new fraction, our new, our new our factored number over here. 5. This is the GCF. K plus 7. And 2K plus 1. So easy, mister. Yes, so easy. Like that. Okay, guys. That's we finish this one here with GCF. Attention, because we have more work here. Number 8, 9, and 10. It's up to you. Okay. And right now, let me talk about factoring polynomials with four terms. About grouping polynomials. How do we factor this stuff, Mr. Romeo? Can you show to us some example for sure i ain't here for that thing guys here first of all group the first two numbers together okay let's group the two first x cubed and 7x squared okay i'm grouping these two numbers and then group the second number together 2x plus 14. nice done let's right now factor out the gcf for each binomial here's my binomial by number number one, by number number two. Let's find the factor here. The common factor, guys, if you notice here is x squared. x squared times x. And here is 7 times x squared. The common factor, x squared. Let's write here. x squared. What is left? x plus 7. Nice. So the first one. And the second one, mister. The second one is number two. Look. 2 and here x and here it is 2 and 7 <gasps> amazing mister the common factor 2 here x plus 7 awesome we figure out this one we finish let's go over here guys solving this stuff let's do it we finish this step and right now if you notice if I have an addition here between these two binomials, okay? If you notice, I have the same factor here, x plus 7, x plus 7. What can I do? Oh, mister, you can write, I can write like that, guys. x squared plus 2, the two GCFs I have here, times x plus 7. Uh, no way, mister. Yes? Okay, let's check. Distribute to check, okay? I'll prove to you. X squared times X, X cubed. X squared times 7, 7X squared. Mm, okay, 2 times X, 2X. 2 times 7, 14. <gasps> oh, no way, mister. That is true statement. Yes, it is true. Nice. Yes, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Very easy. Can you show one more example, mister? Yes, for sure. I am here for that. Let's go on number one. Number one here, guys. I have two factors. Here's x squared again. I just write directly, guys. I think you understand this pattern. x squared. What I left? I left x. And I left 4. x plus 4. Great. In the second one, guys, what is the factor here? 8x and 32. 8x, 32 here. If I correct it here, Miss, I think it's number 8. Uh, yes, it's 8. 8 over here. 8 is the common factor. What I left? X, the first one. 32 divided by 8, it is 4. <gasps> oh, no way. So easy. And we finish over here. Uh, don't forget to have addition between these numbers. Right now, I can write, as I told you, X squared plus 8, parenthesis x plus 4 because i have a common factor x plus 4 so easy yeah so easy guys and here is the solution if you distribute to check okay x squared times x x cubed x squared times 4 it is 4x squared 8 times x it is 8x 
8 times 4, 32. Oh, nice. Yes, guys. So easy, so easy. Remember, this stuff is very important here to work. It is so easy to understand. And let's go over here. Uh, let's talk about this stuff here, guys. We have one more here. Number 7 to solve. It's so easy. Okay, the same idea I would like to share with you. Understand here the two important points, guys, I would like to share with you. Sometimes you need to figure out about how to do it, figure out about the, the negative numbers and positive numbers, and you need to rearrange some things here. Okay, just one attention, guys. And let me show oh, before they go there and the ticket. Let's show here number 15. Here, this one, you need to rearrange. What does it mean, mister? You need to rewrite this one to have the correct position for the first binomial and the second binomial. Here, 2xy and 5x, I don't have any common factors here. Let me rewrite here for x and x and y and y. Okay, mister, if you're telling us it is a negative x squared minus, oh no, minus, no, it's positive, plus 5x, x and x. Nice, the first term, okay. The second term, 2xy, 2xy, and 10y, minus 10y. Okay, mister. What I have to do now, mister, attention over here, guys. What is the common factor over here? The common factor, it is x. It is x. Remember, it is x for the first term here. It is x. x over here, parenthesis, negative x, negative x plus 5. And add over here, don't forget it. What's the common factor here? It is two y's. Two y's. And here, mister, what do you have in common over here? Uh, if you notice, it is x minus 5. Oh, mister, I don't have the same. I don't have the same here. What I have to do? Then I need the opposite for one of them. Which one you would like the opposite for inside the parentheses? For getting the correct one. Because it's the opposite. For exactly the opposite here. Mister, I will pick the second one. Okay, no problem. Then right now the opposite. Positive times negative outside the parentheses is negative. Right now here is negative. Okay? And the opposite here is negative x plus 5. Now I have it. Ah, mister, so easy. Yeah, so easy. And right, rearrange this one. X minus two y's, close the parentheses, times, okay, times the other one. Okay, it is negative x plus five. Or five minus x. Let's rewrite over here. Five minus x. Okay, let's be sure if you got it this one. X times five, positive five x x times negative x is negative x squared negative x squared okay the first one done the second one negative 2y's times negative 5 it's negative 10y's negative 10y's negative 2y's times negative x it is positive 2xy if you notice i just need rearranging but they have the same thing it is true okay guys attention over here because you need to rearrange this stuff or is it ticket? Here it is. What are the steps to factorize trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c? And what are the steps to factorize polynomials with four terms? Step number one for the first question is, is leave a to the end of the trinomial and multiply by c. Step number two, factor this new basic trinomial. Step number three, Divide both your factors by the value you slipped over in step one. And step number four, reduce fractions and slide any denominators up next to the variable. Distribute to check. And this is the question for the second one, the answers. Remember, guys, this is the learning goal. Group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. Are grouping. Remember to grouping. Or you, if you need it, sometimes you need to rearrange. Remember that. Number two, factor out the GCF from each binomial. You factor out, guys. Factor out the GCF for each binomial. Factor the common binomial out. Okay, the common binomial. You have the factor out together. 
And number four, distribute to check your answer. Remember to distribute. Okay, guys, here's our class. I think you remember. I am recording this video to be sure about your understanding, okay? If you have any question, any doubt, please message me. Let me know. Okay, guys, here's our class. Remember, we finish here the activity and be ready for the formatives and summatives. Okay, guys, love you so much. You are so special to me. Next, I will see you next class, guys. Bye.